Hi folks, Allison here, UVLT's Programs Director, and today I'm out at Brookmead Conservation Area in our food pantry garden, which you can probably see behind me. Um, but I'm not going to be talking about the garden today. I actually want to talk to you about monarchs. Uh, right now is the time of year that monarchs are migrating north into our region. Um, that happens from about late July is when that starts. Um, so we're just starting to see adults, eggs, and caterpillars. Last week we did a monarch uh, monitoring blitz at up on the hill conservation area in Charlestown where we found over 40 caterpillars so it's really exciting for us we've been monitoring that location for three years now and that's a lot of caterpillars so um the other day I was at the garden and I found a milkweed plant with some monarch eggs on it which was really exciting um but they're not here anymore and I'm going to show you why so they're not here anymore because there's a caterpillar right there. So that's a pretty small caterpillar, um, maybe in its second instar. The instar is just the, the life cycles. So the, um, the caterpillar will basically shed its skin four times before it becomes a chrysalis and then a butterfly. And so this one is really small, um, not as small as I've ever seen them, but pretty small. And, um, we left this milkweed plant, it's a pretty big milkweed plant, it's right here in the middle of uh, one of our winter squash rows because they're uh, the only food source for the monarch caterpillar. So um, conservation of common milkweed plants like this one or swamp milkweed if you have it um, is really important for the conservation of monarchs. Monarch adult butterflies will lay their eggs on milkweed plants, usually one egg per plant. Um, and they lay upwards of 200 eggs per adult. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's the perfect time of year to get outside, check your milkweed plants, um, <clears throat> look and see if they've got eggs. I'll include a picture of the eggs either in this video or in the notes so you know what they look like. They are visible to the naked eye. They're a pale yellowish color. Um, they're usually found on the undersides of leaves, not along the midrib, but um, more out here. Um, they're also more often found on young milkweed plants because the young plants are easier for the young caterpillars to eat and digest. So this is actually a pretty big plant, but as you'll see, the largest part is there and these smaller branches are where our little caterpillar friend is, right there. So um, I'll also include some information in the notes about uh, how to manage your milkweed for pollinators, especially for monarch caterpillars. And yeah, so that's today's field notes, everyone. I hope you have a great weekend. Thank you.